Oh, what was life like before DBS? Um, since high school, I had been in the cloud um, and I don't even think I knew what normal was because uh, normal was just sad. And as my life went on, there were so many medications and combinations of medications and doses of medications. And psychiatrist after do psychiatrist and doctor after doctor, I had electroconvulsive therapy, 24 treatments all in all. Um, I had uh, transcranial magnetic stimulation. Basically, you name it, it was available to me, I had it. There were hospitalizations, there were suicide attempts. It was pretty dismal. Why would I consider putting something inside my brain and turning the battery on? It was basically last ditch. Um, I was, uh, again, at that point where I had basically tried everything and nothing had worked, or at least not for long. And so I said to myself, well, I can't go through with a suicide plan until I've tried everything. So I guess this is the last thing to try. I didn't think it was gonna work. Life now with deep brain stimulation, I truly didn't think it was gonna work when I started. I mean, I was depressed, so everything was negative and whatnot. I didn't even know life could be this this much because I I'd just always been depressed and I keep asking people even now it's been almost a year and even now I'm like is is this what normal feels like guys is this how it's supposed to feel because <laughs> um, it's it's I'd never experienced it before in all my life I can take it more in stride just do I still stuff happen and I freak out and I cry and I go and I eat Starbucks cake yeah, yes, I do. I'm told now that's normal. <laughs> I'm told that that's a normal reaction to extreme stress. So, uh, yeah, I'm able to cope with it. Stuff doesn't get me down and keep me knocked down. I'm not going to say I don't get sad or I don't feel stress or I don't get anxious. I do. But it's that piece, that resiliency piece. I always roll my eyes, resiliency, but it's so true. I'm, it may take me a day, but I can bounce back. I have, so far, I've always bounced back. It hasn't kept me down yet, and it's been a year, so. Never give up is so trite and so senseless to say to someone that's in the throes of depression. But I gave myself kind of the edict, well, never give up isn't gonna happen, but don't give up yet. Try everything.